The Love's Cup competition is a statewide business plan competition where every major university in Oklahoma basically submits their best ideas from their undergraduate and graduate divisions where they compete versus the other teams to win uh, cash prizes of up to $20,000 and then $10,000 for second and $5,000 for third. The top two teams uh, that win their divisions actually get to go to Las Vegas at the end of May to compete for additional cash prizes and to gain additional support maybe from potential uh, venture capitalists that are in attendance. Dr. Keller had developed this idea uh, with his team of engineers at the University of Tulsa. And once the provisional patent was established, our professor, Claire Cornell, uh, notified us that this idea existed and we were super interested from the very beginning. Our product was des designed because currently, not just in the aerospace industry, but in a lot of industries, composites are being used. But one of its biggest downsides is it's really hard to detect damage or it's very time consuming to detect damage. So. We came up with a solution, or should I say the engineers came up with the solution, um, with a new way to detect damage. So a traditional piece of composite would look like this. This has suffered catastrophic damage. This would fail if this was on an airplane, which could result in loss of the plane and lives. With our product, we have a bruising that occurs. So there's two fluids in here that when damage occurs, causes them to combine, which then results in a magnetic um, substance that can be detected through the use of a magnetometer, and it can also be visually seen. So one of the cool things about it is, even if it's painted, you may not visually see it, but the process to actually use the magnetometer to detect the damage compared to our competition, like ultrasound or thermography, is minutes compared to hours. the skills and kind of backgrounds we each were able to bring to the table really kind of helped helped create a holistic product that and business plan and you have to recognize everyone's strengths and that kind of starts in the first little bit where you recognize what everyone is really good at and you maybe kind of subsi subsidize other people's weaknesses and i think we were really good about doing that as a team to know what each team member is individually good at and uh, it culminated in having a winning team which was an amazing experience so um, you know for me this was uh, this was an exciting opportunity because I you know, my, my primary passion in, in life and what I like doing is trying to push you know push push the edge of technology develop new things um, that I think are going to change the world uh, but you know but I do that in the lab and it takes a team of dedicated individuals, uh, business people, to, 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 to take that idea and push it out to the market where it actually does make the changes and, 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 and impact the world. You know, watching them go through the process of, uh, of actually doing a market analysis and, the, and the sort of un trying to understand where you would fit but is sort of a very critical part of the whole technology development process that, that, uh, that I usually only get to see at the very early stages. So it's been, it's been exciting. And Every, every step of the way in this process, we were able to reach out to the faculty that we're in class with today, whether it's finance or accounting or strategic management professors or people that we've had previously or have now. We had those relationships that we could go back to and, I mean, these really amazing people that we could use as a resource to make sure that our business plan was where it needed to be and um, maybe it was the difference in the whole thing. So it. Is, it's really cool to have those professors as a resource. We're all interested in entrepreneurship and developing businesses and things of that nature and the Love's Cup course was was really able to uh, kind of expand on that um, desire that, that we all have. I think it also gives us a chance to really test the idea even further. Um, winning there would really back up this idea even more for us to want to actually bring this to market and just allowing us to TU allowing us to kind of do this for them and for ourselves um, gives us a great opportunity that in the future we can even give back a lot more now that we've developed this relationship with the university so that's really awesome